So in this how-to, we'll review Ujjayi breath. And Ujjayi breath is practiced a lot in a lot of yoga classes, yoga studios. And there's a few benefits for it. So first, it helps warm up the body. It also helps aid in concentration. And it can also help us relax. So a few things, so it could be really challenging as a beginner to try to focus in on your breath, on the postures. So even though I'll cue it throughout the practice, we'll start with it, I'll give little reminders. If you can't sync the breath up and focus on the postures at the same time, don't worry about it. As you move along with your practice, it gets easier, but there's no need to stress about trying to breathe a certain way and do the postures at the same time. It'll it'll come in time, so don't worry about it. And there's a few different aspects to the breath. So we are going to control our breath. It'll be elongated, so probably slower than what we're normally used to doing. As you breathe in, as you breathe in, your belly will expand. And then as you breathe out, your belly softens. And that might be, again, new for some of us. Yeah, just do your best. And there's also a little constriction in the back of the throat that creates a slightly audible sound. So it doesn't have to be super loud. It's just a very soft sound, almost like there's a tiny dark vader in your throat, but nothing too out of control. So we'll go over two different ways to practice it just to get a feel for it and do whichever kind of way works for you so you can get the concept. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the question section. So let's start by coming into our easy seated pose, pressing down into the sit bones, lifting through the top of the head, maybe letting the eyes close or taking a soft gaze towards the floor. And let's bring one hand towards the belly. Starting with breathing naturally first. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in nice and slow and try to get the belly to expand into your hand. Suspend the breath at the top, exhale out through the nose slowly. You may even try to Silently count. Suspend the breath at the top. Exhale, releasing slowly out the nose. The belly releases down. Every inhale, expanding, maybe counting to four or five. Suspend the breath at the top, exhaling slowly. This time, try to create that constriction in the back of the throat, a slightly audible sound. Inhaling for one, two, three, four, five. Pause. Exhale. One, two, three four, five. So go ahead and release the hand back towards the knee. And it can be hard to kind of get that feeling of the constriction in the back of the throat. So we're going to try again. Same principles will apply. Every inhale, the belly is expanding. Suspend the breath at the top for a moment. Exhale, releasing the air from the belly. Except this time we're going to start with our mouth open and then we'll close the mouth and that should automatically create that constriction in the back of the throat. The other thing to be aware of in this round is we all have different abilities and capacities in our lungs. So if I'm counting either too fast or too slow or cueing too fast or too slow, go at your own pace. But again, we are trying to deepen our breath. So maybe a little longer than your normal breath. So let's go ahead and Take your hand and just bring it in front of your face. And then take a deep breath in, letting the belly expand. Suspend the breath at the top, exhale out. And the mouth is open, inhaling. 
As you exhale, try to feel the breath in the hand. Inhale, breathing in. Belly's expanding. Exhale, breathe into the hand so you can feel the breath. A few more beats at your own pace. Belly expands on the inhale, suspend the breath. Exhaling out slowly, belly releases. Bringing the hands towards the belly. Still breathing the same. And now close the mouth, but still breathe the same way. You should be able to hear that sound in the back of your throat. Let's go ahead and take one more round together. Sands. And so that's Ujjayi breath in a nutshell. It is one of the limbs of yoga under pranayama or controlled breathing. But again, you're a beginner, you're just getting started. Don't worry about it. If it's a little too challenging to do both, just practice as you can and do your best. See you in the next class.